A North Idaho man took his own life after refusing to stop for a deputy during a routine traffic stop this afternoon. Robert Kilborn of Hayden died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. KXY 4's Tanya Dahl live in Dalton Gardens tonight. Tanya, the motive is unclear, but authorities believe he was su suicidal? That's right, Dave. When we showed up here to this neighborhood, a sheriff's office spokesman told us that he may have taken or had been trying to take his own life. Uh, Kilborn had been driving around at 20 miles per hour, refusing to stop, finally taking his own life in that driveway behind me, right at a friend's house. I looked out the window and there was police everywhere. Wow. And I thought, well, this isn't good. The swarm of deputies on her neighboring property caught Carolyn Sampert's eye. The Dalton Gardens woman grabbed her camcorder and started recording. I'm shaking. I was shaking because I didn't know what was going on. This home video shows deputies responding to the 6100 block of Valley Street in Kootenai County. It's where Robert Kilborn pulled into a driveway armed with a weapon. Officer started to walk up to the vehicle and he, uh, he saw the person had a shotgun in their hand in the vehicle, or a long gun anyway. The officer started to retreat and call for help. The sheriff's department says a deputy tried stopping Kilborn for a vehicle equipment violation just a few blocks away, but the Hayden man refused to stop. The vehicle failed to yield, didn't accelerate, was doing about 20 miles an hour, just kept driving around, wouldn't stop, finally pulled into a driveway. Instead of turning himself in, the 48-year-old shot himself in the face. Okay. The sheriff's department says the deputy on scene never fired back. Kilborn was taken to Kootenai Medical Center, where he later died. It was kind of scary that somebody had mentioned that maybe it was somebody that just ran into the house. So that's what we're hoping it's a stranger. Idaho State Police is investigating and the Sheriff's Department tells us that Kilborn was driving with a suspended license. There was also an outstanding warrant for his arrest connected to a DUI charge. Reporting live, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News.